and I'm Christine, and today I have a book haul for you. If you can't tell, I'm supposed to be a fairy today. Well met, poetry. Huh? Eh? So the first book I have to show you today is our March book of the month, which is of course the brilliant Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. It's the first book in her new series. My book talk is already up. This is an arc. It's nice and broken in. I also have the beautiful hardcover. And the hardcover has a short story in the back with Jace and Clary, and it's so good. And I didn't get to talk about it in my review because I had read this version when I made my review. But this version has a short story in the back, so make sure you read the short story because it's so good. Lady Midnight was fantastic. If you haven't read it yet, I'm gonna link my book talk here and in the description description if you want to check that out and just so you know there will also be links to every other book I showed you today in the description. The next book I have here today! Oh I've started talking in an accent because I'm just making that a thing that fairies do since I'm not good at speaking in poetry. This month I'm working with Harlequin Teen who sent me First Life by Jenna Showalter. I like the cover on this one. It really grabs my eye. This book is a really interesting concept. So in this world your life, your regular life is just your first life and then when you die you move on to one of these two different worlds and you get to choose which world you go to and that's like your real life. But at this time these two afterlife worlds are at war. They want to recruit more people to their world so they'll have more people to fight. But if they know that you're gonna choose to go to the other world when you die, they'd rather take you out of the afterlife completely than let you move on to the other world, to their enemy. There are things worse than death. I guess whatever they would do to you would be worse than death. And Sarah J Mass blurbed this book. Utterly unique and absolutely riveting. I couldn't put it down. What a marvelously cool world. Ooh, and it's like a nice turquoise naked. I love how it's becoming more and more popular for naked books to have some color to them. Most of the world has come to accept first life is merely a dress rehearsal and real life begins after death. It's a really crazy concept because it brings up the whole question do you want to die? Is that a thing that people strive toward? Death must be thought about really differently in this world. I'm also working with source books this month. They sent me this book, which sounds absolutely captivating. And that is This Is Where It Ends by Marike Nijkamp. I know I'm saying that wrong and I'm sorry I'm pronouncing the author's name wrong. This book tells the story of a school shooting from start to finish and how whoever survived, survived. And it's told from four different point of views of four different people within the school. That idea captivates me. I wanna read it. I wanna see what happened. I absolutely love the cover. It's eye-catching and beautiful. And at the same time, it mirrors the idea of being shot and torn apart and changed forever. I think it's a really stunning book. Ooh, naked, it's like paper, look at that. Everyone has a reason to fear the boy with the gun. Stunning, diverse, and unforgettable. This is where it ends is a book everyone should read to better understand each other and the world around us. Next, the next book I have here today is one that everyone is talking about because there's a movie adaptation coming and that is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I've, everyone's been reading this book. I really wanna read it myself and I wish I hadn't seen the trailer for the movie, but at the same time that really pushed me to want to read the book. Oh, I I feel like I was spoiled for the concept and stuff. I really wish I wasn't, but now I can tell you what I think it is because I'm not gonna read any blurbs on this one. I already saw enough with the trailer. So there's this girl, it's Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. She ends up being assigned to be a life assistant or, you know, some way help this man who is either quadriplegic or paraplegic. He's in a wheelchair and he is played by Sam Claflin and I think they fall in love and I'm sure something tragic is gonna happen because everyone's talking about how much I cried reading this book. I really want to read it. I want to read the book before I see the movie. Even though I probably like the movie more if I don't read the book first. But this just feels like a book that I want to read. I want to read it. I, I, I want to read it. So maybe I'm just going to read it. Maybe I'll read it now because I'm kind of in this limbo. This morning period of uh, Lady Midnight and I don't know what to do with myself. I just need a contemporary, I think, to get me through this time. I hope you can be it. Yeah, no, I'm going to read this now, actually. I think I'm going to read this. 
Wow, it just dawned on me. I've been like in this weird, I don't know what to read section of my life. This month I'm also working with Blowsberry who sent me When We Collided by Emery Lord. And I'm really excited about this book. I'm definitely gonna be reading it next month. It isn't out yet. It comes out April 5th. It's a contemporary. This author, Emery Lord, I haven't read anything by her yet, but I just started following her on Twitter because like I've started seeing people retweeting her all the time and her tweets are hilarious. I knew this book was coming out and I just got even more excited for this book because I want to read something that she's written. I want to read her stories. I love the cover, the paint splatters. It actually has kind of a different feel to it. It says, can you find yourself when you're falling apart? I'm not sure exactly what this book is about. I'm going to read the blurb, but I don't really want to be spoiled. It's a contemporary, so I know it has a love aspect to it. I know it has something to do with mental health. This is more than a love story. When we collided, carefully yet effortlessly puts mental illness in conversation with the beauty and struggle of adolescence. It's a book I wish I could have written, but I'm so much better for having read. So it sounds like two teenagers going through really hard parts of their life and stumbling into love or something. I don't know. I'm excited because obviously I love contemporaries. I love love stories. And I'm really excited to read this author. Go check her out on Twitter. She is great. <gasps> Purple Nakedness! Next book I have to show you! The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This is actually the 10th anniversary edition that just came out. This is the original Book Thief that I bought like a million years ago. And this is the 10th anniversary edition. And I just love the way it looks because in the story, a book gets thrown into the river and also there's Mein Kampf and they paint over it and redo what's on the inside of it and stuff. So this could be either book. I love that it's all smeared. It looks like it was thrown in the water. It has that newspaper feeling like it was painted over. It makes so much sense with the story and look at the inside oh it's so beautiful <gasps> naked it's white and it has the imprint of the drawings that max draws in the book if you've read the book thief the book thief is like the first book in so long that i've read and not book talked because i didn't finish it until the day of the live show the book explosion live show this was our february book of the month there's a live show of us discussing our thoughts on it if you want to watch that i'll link it in the description underneath the link for the book thief it was a wonderful story about the power of stories the power of words the power of writing and it takes place during world war ii in nazi occupied germany it was just great it was gritty it was much better than the movie you probably liked the movie more if you've watched it already before reading the book but the book has so much more to give it's just it's much better the next book i have to show you today fairy fairy i forgot i was a fairy well met golden sun by pierce brown golden sun is the second book in pierce's red rising trilogy that i still haven't read oh it's so frustrating because i've met pierce multiple times now i hate not having read an author's book when i meet them and it's i've just Oh, it's been so long now. I have the audiobook and I'm like five chapters in and it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I'm already audiobooking Harry Potter. So it's hard to stop. I just, the shame. I've only heard absolutely fantastic things about this series. I need to read these books. And the last book I have to show you today is a very exciting one. I haven't gotten to read it yet. I'm very upset that I haven't gotten to read it yet. But like I said, I have a million books to read. And it's like, oh my God, I never know what to read. But I want to be in the mood to read this. I actually wish I had this right at the end of winter. And that is Stars Above. This is a collection of novellas that tell more of what happened after Happily Ever After. More Happily Ever Afters. After the Happily Ever After. How amazing is this? book. How amazing is Marissa for giving us this? I'm really excited to see what happened to everyone. I'll definitely book talk it when I do read it. I also have an unboxing today, but I unboxed that stuff in the past. So let's go. Let's, let's, let's take it back to past Christine. Unboxing time. I don't actually have a box to unbox. I do have a box, but I already cut it open. So kind of spoil the unboxing. I have a bookish stuff. Haul. These are all things that a designer named Evie sent me from her bookish shop. The first thing she sent me is this tank top that has one of my favorite, favorite Dumbledore quotes on it. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. And it says JK Rowling down here because she wrote it. And I love it! The next thing that Evie sent me is in a box, so this is where the unboxing name rings true. But inside, ooh, bubbles, bubbles. Inside is a mug, and it's a Six of Crows themed mug. And it says, I will have you without armor, Casbrecker, or I will not have you at all. It's so pretty, I can't wait to drink out of it. <laughs> Next thing I have, this is kind of an unboxing. It's like an unpackaging. This is also from Evie. This is the last thing I have. I'm super excited to open it because I haven't opened this at all. This is like what I send my shirts in, except mm, they're not this big because they're shirts. <laughs> uh, oh, 
I got it. Yes. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am like obsessed with pillows now. So I was super excited when I saw that she had pillows in her shop. Mm. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Look at it. No mourners, no funerals. Also from Six of Crows. It matches my chair. I was so excited. And it'll be next to my bookcase. Oh my god, I'm gonna have such a bookish apartment. I'm so pumped. Get in this book pillowcase. <gasps> Look at it! Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. That is perfection. And the last thing I have in here, it's another pillow. It's another pillow. Wait till you see this one. Nothing else is happening now. This is my pretty fairy rainbow bookshelf.